Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a gliding system. So in this the player is going to have a glider which they hang off of from above their head and it's going to slow them down as they gently fall to the ground. And they can equip and unequip this and when they hit the ground it's going to automatically unequip. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. As you can see we're walking around up here when it loads, we're walking around up here just perfectly normal and if we jump off here, press 1 we're going to have this glider which appears like so and we're hanging off of it gently gliding down towards the ground if we press 1 again we're going to unequip it and fall like normal and we can equip it again and continue to fall like this so this would work really well with a fall damage system which I also have a video on and when we land it's going to automatically unequip like so and if you want you can change the animations of it have an animation for equipping and unequipping it or even change what I've got here to make it look like there's an animation for it again this is what we're making today so without further ado let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to set up equipping and unequipping the glider. So what I'm using is I'm using a glider which I've got from CG Trader which I'll leave a link to in the description down below and I'm also using animation from Mixmo which I'll also leave a link to in the description down below both of which are free to use. So now I'm going to open up my character because I've already got those imported. So I'm going to go to the third person BP, blueprints, third person character, but for you this could be third, first or whatever you've named it. And very simply once I'm in here I'm going to go over to the viewport so we can add in this glider. So what I'm going to do is just as a reference I'm going to select my mesh and then change the animation mode from use animation asset and we're going to change the anim to play to be hanging idle one. Now the reason I've done that is so I can see what position the player is going to be in when they are gliding so I know where I want to position the glider. So I'm going to add a component and I'm going to add a static mesh and I'm going to name this one glider. And you do want to make sure it is parented to the mesh like mine is there. If yours isn't, just drag and drop it onto the mesh like so. And I'm going to change the static mesh to be my glider, which I have here. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to parent it to the right hand or the left hand. But I'm just parenting it to a hand so it kind of works with the animation and it stays where I want. You don't need to do that if you don't want, but it just adds that extra level of detail to make it look a little bit nicer. And now I'm going to rotate and position it where I want it to be according to the player's hands. So I want it to be facing the other direction I believe. Now that is rotated the correct way. I'm just going to move over, toggle off the snapping and just get it into the perfect position which I want. So obviously the hands aren't in the exact position where they should be. But just for this example this is going to work for me. You can obviously change the animations and etc. to get it working better for you. But I think that's going to be good. So I've got the animation, I've got the glider. That's what it's going to look like when we're gliding, which I think looks great. So what I'm going to do is select the mesh and again change this back to just use animation blueprint. Select the glider. I'm going to disable its collision so we don't have any collision on it because I don't need that. You can keep it on if you want, but I don't need it. So I'm going to change collision presets to no collision. And I'm also going to tick hidden in game. So by default, we're not going to see the glider because we don't have it equipped. So I'm going to compile, save and go over to the event graph. And now we're going to start setting up enabling and disabling the glider. So I'm going to do that via functions. So I'm going to hit the plus function here, naming this enable glider. And out of this, I'm going to set a boolean. So I'm going to hit the plus variable here, naming this one gliding question mark. So we know if we are or aren't gliding. And because this is enable, I'm going to set this to be true. So set gliding to true. Then after this, we want to show the glider. So I'm going to drag and drop a reference to our glider and set hidden in game like so and I want to leave this as false so unticked so it is not hidden it is now being shown and then after this I'm going to get a reference to our character movement and drag out of that to get the velocity so get velocity like so should be at the bottom there and I'm also going to drag out of that and set velocity and I'm going to right click on both of these and split their structure pins like so and the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to be changing the gravity scale to make the player fall slower. So if we leave the velocity as it is, the player will probably just shoot off in one direction or they'll go up instead of down. They'll go really far forward or back or anything along those lines. So to fix that, we need to change the velocity. So I'm going to connect that in. And the values which I found to be good earlier, you can obviously change these to get them perfect for you. But what I got was velocity x divided by a float. And the same with velocity y, divide that by a float as well. And I'm going to divide both of these by 6, connecting those into velocity x and y, like so. So the reason I've got that is because your base jump speed is going to be 600. 
divide that by 6 it gets to 100 and that seemed like a good speed which I found earlier and this isn't going to be static you can move around and increase your velocity while you're gliding down which is going to work great and again just change this to get it perfect for what you want but for me these are the values which I found to fit and work really well again very very easy to customize and then velocity z I'm going to set to minus 300 now this is going to stay static this won't change and this is how quickly you're going to fall down so the lower the number i.e minus 300 minus 400 minus 500 that will be slower falling and the higher the number i.e minus 200 minus 100 etc will be quicker falling and anything above zero is obviously going to go up which we don't want so again i found minus 300 was good for me but customize this to get it perfect for you and then we're going to drag out of the character movement again and set the gravity scale like so and we're going to leave it at zero so there's essentially no more gravity being applied to the player other than what there currently is which is obviously going to be their current velocity falling down which is also why i said we don't want them to be going up because if they were jumping up and applied this they just continue going up which again is what this velocity change here fixes but this is going to work perfectly for enabling the glider and giving us the correct movement which we want now if you select the character movement you do have different things here so let me select it here sorry you can change the air control, braking, deceleration, falling, all that good stuff. But well, I was testing this out earlier and the gravity scale seemed to be the best option. So that's the one that I'm going with. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of that and hit control C. I'm going to create another function. So hit the plus function there, naming this disable glider. Now I'm going to hit control V to paste all of this in here because the disable glider is going to be the exact same as the enable, but just doing the opposite. So untick gliding, so we're setting it to false and tick new hidden so we're hiding glider again and then actually we don't need to set the velocity this time so we can delete the set velocity like so and all we need to do now is again set the gravity scale setting it back to one so it has full gravity scale once again so it's going to work perfectly normally to how we want so we compile save and this is how we're going to enable and disable the glider by when we call these functions it's going to tell the code if we are or aren't gliding show or hide the glider and then change the velocity and the gravity scale and all that good stuff to make it work. And now we need to actually call these functions. So I want to do this when the player presses the one keyboard event. So I'm going to right click and get the one keyboard event and this is just in your normal event graph. And again I also want to make sure they can only do this if they're falling. So I'm going to right click and get is falling from the character movement like so. And this is going to go into a branch so we can hold down B left click and that will go into the pressed. So false, we're not going to do anything, and true is going to enable the glider. Because again, I only want to enable the glider if we are falling, not if we're just standing stationary on the ground. So out of true, I'm going to get another branch, so hold down B and left click again. The condition of this one being gliding. And this is because I want to know if we want to enable or disable the glider. So if gliding is true, we want to disable it. So we're going to call the function disable glider, and if gliding is false, we want to enable it. So call function enable glider. And this is how we're going to enable and disable the glider, working perfectly like so. But what I also want to do is I want to disable the glider when we land, so I want that to happen automatically. So very simply what I can do is event on movement mode changed, we come out of new movement mode and get an equal equal enum, and if this is equal to walking, inputting that into a branch, so coming out of true, if it is equal to walking, we're going to simply disable the glider. So you can have this as walking or swimming or any other one that you want, or you can have it as just not falling. So the glider will always disable, and that's just in case you maybe land in water or something along those lines. But we can compile and save, and that is going to enable and disable the glider perfectly for how we want. So now the last thing to set up is the animations, which is also just as simple. So we can minimize this and open up our animation blueprint, which for me is content, mannequin, animations, third person and in BP. And in our event graph we're going to right click up here and get begin play so we get event blueprint begin play. Out of this I'm going to cast my character. So for me that's cast to third person character but for you this could be third first whatever you've named it. And the object is going to be get player character. And the reason I'm doing this is so we can have access to the gliding variable that we made earlier. So what we also need to do is right click as third person character, promote it to a variable naming this character reference. So now we have full access to our cast to our character much more efficiently and easily. So now we're gonna to go to the end of this code and get an is valid node, the one with the question mark next to it. 
for the input object being our character reference. So we can only access the character reference once it has been set because this update animation will fire off a few frames before the begin play, which is why we've got this is valid, just to prevent any errors coming through. So out of the character reference, we're also going to get gliding, or is gliding, I think I called it, and just get gliding, and then we're going to right click that, promote it to a variable, naming this gliding as well, just so we have access to it inside of this blueprint here. Connecting that into is valid, so it should look something like this. And then we're going to go over to our anim graph and then double click the state machine here. Now what I want is I want to be able to play the gliding animation when we are gliding. And the only way we can glide is if we're falling. So I need to edit this jump loop state here. But you do this wherever you need it. So if you have it from jump loop and idle run, you'd want to make a state. But if you're just doing it like I am, so you have to be falling, then open up your jump loop or just your jump state like this. What I'm going to do is disconnect the third person jump loop there. And I'm going to come out of the result like so and blend poses by bool. The active value is going to be our gliding boolean we've just made. So if that is true, we're gliding. If it's false, we're jumping. So the false pose is going to be that jump animation that was already in here. And the true pose is going to be that hanging idle animation which I have here for my gliding. And I'm not going to change the blend times because this is going to be fine for me. So we can compile and save that. And now this should be working perfectly for us. So we can hit play to test this out. If we jump and press one, we get the glider and it deactivated when we hit the ground and you saw we kind of slowed down. So it works perfectly like that. It's looking a bit odd here because we're falling straight away and obviously the velocity is going down, so we're falling. And if I'm pressing one while here, it's not gonna open because we're not falling. So if I jump off, press one, we're now gonna start slowly gliding down towards the ground. If we press one again, we'll start falling quicker. Press one, we'll glide again, working perfectly like so and we're going to slowly glide ourselves down to the ground. And as we hit the ground, it's going to deactivate and pull back, working perfectly again, like so. So I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we want to do. We've set up a glider in which when we're jumping and when we're falling, we can activate this glider, and we'll have a nice slow gentle fall down to the ground, working perfectly like so. And we can activate it and deactivate it while we're in the air and while we're falling, but not on the ground. And when we land on the ground, it's going to automatically deactivate it and put it away for us as you see here. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.